Welcome to Mbuya Parent School and Kindergarten, situated in Kampala City with modern, well equipped facilities plus extensive playing fields and amenities. Mbuya Parent School believes that a better future lies where children know how to find and create balances in themselves and the world around them. This explains our fusion of academic subjects and co curricular activities. There are many opportunities presented to them to flourish both in and outside the classroom. I want to become a president when I grow up. Yeah, I want to be a pilot. I will be the best fashion designer. Mbuya Parent School, the sky is our limit. Our dear learners, my name is Joseph Waifumo, a teacher of Mathematics Primary 7. I'm here to take you through lesson 2 of uh, Mathematics. Uh, in the previous lesson 1, with teacher Salim, we discussed a number of concepts about arombas, whereby we specifically discussed issues concerning area where he said that the area of a rhombus is given as a half times diagonal one times diagonal two. He also told us uh, another fact about a rhombus that we can also calculate the perimeter of a rhombus. And he said that to get the perimeter of a rhombus, we simply add the four sides. He said perimeter is given as side plus side plus side plus side. Whereby he further said that since all the sides of arombas are equal, we can simply abbreviate this and we have it as 4S. Where the 4 stands for the four equal sides and the S stands for the uh, length of each side. Since all the sides are equal. Uh, before we have the real concepts for lesson two, we shall have to review one of the numbers which we had in our previous activity. And this is specifically number two of uh, the activities which we had in the previous lesson, we had a rhombus P, Q, R, S. Where in that question, we were given the two diagonals as diagonal PR with the measurements 24 centimeters. And the diagonal QS was 10 centimeters. And the question one of that one was requiring us to find the area. Question one or question A need us to find the area. And uh, we shall, of course, use that very formula as area is equal to a half times diagonal one times diagonal two. Where uh, those of you who followed teacher Salim properly, he told you that one of the diagonals, this longer one, is also known as the leading diagonal or the major diagonal is the one we shall have as diagonal 1. Then the short diagonal, which is now 2S, is the minor diagonal, and that is the one which is now given the 10 centimeters. So we shall have to substitute. We can have abbreviate the area with letter A. And then we have the substitution as 24 centimeters multiplied by 10 centimeters. Uh, we are not going to cancel uh, these two by any of these two numbers because each of them can be divided by two. So we can cancel by one of them. When we cancel by two, this is once. Canceling by two, this is 12. And when we come down to get the product of now 12 and one is 12, 
Then that 12 by 10 will give us 120 square centimeters. Take note of the units. They are very, very important. Um, we have underline that answer. And uh, those of you who got 120 centimeters as the answer for part A, thank you very much. Bravo. Um, part B of our question was asking us to find, was asking us to find the length, the length, P, R. <laughs> I know some of you might have written a lot on this. This was the simplest uh, question in this, in this number. P, R. I know many of you wrote a lot on this. P, R is just from here up to here. And it was given uh, even in the question as 24 centimeters. So it was just a matter of saying that P, R is equal to 24 centimeters. And you are done. Um, question C of that particular number was requiring us to find was refine, uh, requiring us to find the perimeter. Um, let, us, let us have this underlined also to make our work look smart. Question C was asking us to get the perimeter. Still, the concepts are there. Those of you who followed the Salim properly did not get any problem when calculating that. However, you cannot get, or we cannot get, you and I cannot get the perimeter of our rhombus when we don't have the length of each side. And those of you who attended his lesson properly, he said that to get the length of each side, we shall have to use the idea of Pythagoras theorem. Since we have four right angled triangles, formed after the diagonal is bisecting at an, a right angle. We shall have to extract one of the triangles and probably can take that one. Whereby, since we said that diagonals bisect each other, it means the PR, which is this one here, which is 24 centimeters, we shall have to divide it by two, meaning this is 12 centimeters and this is 12 centimeters. Also, the 10 will be bisected, will be divided by 2, meaning that this one is 5 centimeters and this is 5 centimeters. Um, from there, we can choose, we can choose that very triangle which I have shaded. However, we can have this as point O at the center. So, we come now and draw that shaded triangle having this as a right angle. This is our point O. This is our point Q. This is our point R. We have this O Q, the O Q as 5 centimeters. Then the O R as 12 centimeters. Then, following the property of the Pythagoras theorem, we have this as A, this is B, this is C. The slanting side, the slope, is down which takes letter C. Uh, from there, we shall come and have now the A squared plus B squared equaling to C squared. Starting with this, which is 5 centimeters, we shall have to square it, following the property plus 12 centimeters, which is also squared, will give us C squared. When we square 5, we get 25. We also squaring the centimeters, which is square centimeters. We are also squaring the 12, giving us 144. Then the centimeters, also squared, which will be square centimeters, equaling to C squared. 
Now we have to sum the 25 and the 144, which is 169 uh, square centimeters, giving us C squared. At that level, we shall find the square root on both the sides. Square root of 169 is 13 centimeters. Remember, we also square the, the centimeters, meaning the square root of square centimeters squared is centimeters, giving us C. That C is also important. You can underline it. Then transfer the 13 to our diagram, 13 centimeters, 13 centimeters, 13 centimeters, 13 centimeters. And then finally, find the perimeter. Which perimeter is equal to 4S. And this is 4 times the length of each side, which is 13 centimeters. And finally, we are getting the 52 centimeters. And as we have said, that underlining of our answers is very important. You have to do so. So our learners, basically, in this lesson two, we are going to see how to find the area of a rhombus when given the perimeter. In the previous lesson, we were given the two diagonals, and we are required to find or to calculate the perimeter at the same time area. But for this case, we shall be given um, the, the area, I mean the perimeter, and we shall be required to find the area. And apart from being given the perimeter, we shall be given also one of the diagonals, as we shall see in the examples. So, there we go with our lesson two, finding area of a rhombus when given perimeter. Example number one goes, P2RS below is a rhombus whose perimeter is 40 centimeters and diagonal Q, I mean diagonal PR is 16 centimeters. The diagram is well drawn. However, I have taken you through the, the steps taken. Question A says find the length of diagonal SQ. The first thing to be done is to find the length of each side of the rhombus. And having been given the perimeter, which is of course 40 centimeters, this would be easy for us. Uh, in the previous lesson we said that perimeter is given as 4s, whereby we have defined the 4 as the number of sides which make up a rhombus, and the s standing for the length of each side. So for this case, we are having a uh, length of each side first. Length of each side. Length of each side. Before we go, for the length of the diagonal. We are having 4s being equal to p. p standing for the perimeter and a standing for the length of each side. So we are having this is 4s which is equal to 40 centimeters. At this level we shall divide by 4 on each side. We shall divide by 4 on each side. We cancel this is once and this is once. Cancel this is once and this will be 10. And we are having the length of each side, which is now uh, S as 10 centimeters. So after that, we shall have this information Put, be, uh, put on the diagram so that we start the calculation is. We have this as P, this is Q, this is R, 
this is S. We are showing that all the sides are equal. Then this one is a parallel. This one is parallel to this one, the right angle at that point. And we have seen now the length of each side as 10 centimeters. This is 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters. We have been given one of the diagonals, and that is the diagonal PR. In the question, it is here, PR, 16 centimeters. And that is from here up to here. But we have said that the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other, meaning the 16 will be divided by 2. And therefore, if we divide the PR, which is 16, we shall have this as 8 centimeters and this as 8 centimeters. Our main concern for part A is to get length of diagonal S2. S2, which is from here up to here. But still, we shall bring in the idea of Pythagoras theorem. And at this very moment, we shall have to extract one of the right angled triangles. Can take that one probably. When it is drawn, it will be like this. Having it that the diagonals have bisected that point O, whereby now this is our um, this is uh, our O, this is Q, and this is the R. The longer length, which is the hypotenuse, is 10 centimeters. Then the O2 is not known. The OR, the OR is known as 8 centimeters. So at this level now we have this as A, this is B, this is C. The slope, down which takes letter C, the so-called hypotenuse. From there we are going to have the statement of uh, Pythagoras theorem as uh, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Then we write the A in its position to, be, to remain squared because there is nothing there. Then the B is 8. We are adding 8 with its units, which is centimeters. And we shall have to square still, which is equal to the hypotenuse, which is now 10 centimeters, of course, also squared. Then we have, this is A squared. When we square 8, we get 64. When we square the centimeters, it will be centimeters squared, which will be equal to when we square 10, we get 100. And we shall write the 100. When we square the centimeters, it will be square centimeters. Now, the next step is to take this 64 square centimeters on the right, leaving A squared on the left. And we shall do that by subtracting. What is done on the left is the same thing to be done on the right. So we are having a squared plus 64 square centimeters minus 64 square centimeters giving us 100 square centimeters minus 64 square centimeters. Um, when, we ha when we do that, we shall have on our left the A squared, which would be equal to 100 minus 64 gives us 36, but the units have to be included, square centimeters. At this level, we shall have to find the square root on both sides, and we shall have to show the symbol, of course. Have the root symbol on both sides, have the root symbol on both sides. Now, here, be careful. Learners, be careful on this point. If you draw this symbol and it ends around here, around there, you are likely to mess up because you, have, you are going to have the 6, which is the square root of 36, but you have not catered for the square centimeters. 
Therefore, this symbol has to go up to that level. So, square root of a squared for this case, we have it as a. Then the square root of 36 is 6. Don't forget the units. This is centimeters. And from there, uh, we have to underline our answer. But need to go back to the question. What does the question say? The question says, uh, find the length of diagonal S2. Diagonal S2. Whereby this is the S, this is the 2. But D6 you have just calculated is just the O2, which is here. So this is 6 centimeters, and also this one is 6 centimeters. Meaning that now, uh, our length of diagonal, diagonal SQ is equal to 6 centimeters, this one, plus 6 centimeters, giving us uh, 12 centimeters. And that will be the final answer for that question A. Still, you underline that. Uh, so, my dear learners, after calculating the diagonal S2 as part A has said, now we have part B, which says work out the area of the above rhombus. And of course, I'm very sure those of you who have been attending the lesson since from the beginning, or even those of us who were uh, actively uh, involved in the uh, teacher Salimu's lesson, you can answer this. Area of the rhombus. So we have it as, uh, this is part B, so we have the area as a half times diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. The diagram is not having those, that, that information. 6 and 6 will give us the total of centimeters. 8 and 8 will give us the 16 centimeters. Meaning that our diagonal PR is acting as now the major diagonal. Then our diagonal SQ will be the main diagonal. So we have the two diagonals. Therefore, we already have the information to help us find the area. Can I simply substitute? And we have the a half times 8 plus 8, of course, those are the other side, even in the question, are 16 centimeters. Times the 6 and 6, we have already got it in the question A, as total of centimeters. So substituting just as, and you move. So here we, can, you, here we find that 16 and the total of, can both be divided by 2. But you don't divide both of them. Wait only one. Can have this is cancelled and we get one. When we cancel this by two, we get eight. Then we come and have the product of one and eight is eight. Then eight by total of will give us 96. Don't forget the units. This is square centimeters. And still get the ruler and smartly underline your answer. That would be very uh, perfect. Take note of this. Some of you, you don't mind of the units used in the question is. Your brain has always carried the centimeters. Forgetting that, now like for example, in our number two of this uh, work, which is now activity. It is that you are going to, uh, to, to take but the units are not the same as this. So those of you who run units, there you are. I'm advising you, don't cram the units. Answer the question using the current units used. So you have, in the activity, you have two numbers. That is number two and number three. Those of you who answered it well in the previous lesson, thank you very much. So, even in this one, take a note and be careful while answering this work. Uh, I think this is the end of our lesson. Thank you. Thank you for moving with me from the beginning up to the end of the lesson. However, 
Each of us is very aware of what is going, going on in the country about issues of uh, COVID-19, the coronavirus, the disease is real, the disease kills. However, the Ministry of Health has always guided us through the precautions on how to prevent it. They emphasize washing our hands, using clean water and soap. But those ones who can afford sanitizer, like me, still, you can use it. You can use it to be safe. Our dear learners, stay home, stay safe. Bye-bye.